All right, so I just got the gutters cleaned out um, for the first time this season. It'll probably take me at least three or four times just by the sheer volume of leaves that we get. So that maple tree out front just dumps a ton of leaves. So um, I've had this Werner ladder here. I wanted to, to kind of show you a comparison here. I've had this one for quite a while. This thing, I don't know, these things are brand new are about 250. So they're, they're expensive. It's super heavy. Um, not the easiest to carry got some weight to it however that's a good thing because look how stable this thing is i mean this thing is just i have no concerns climbing this ladder and going all the way up right i mean it's just it doesn't move so very sturdy doesn't sway side to side um now what's crazy about these of course they both flip up and this can be used as an a-frame ladder i think it goes up to six feet eight or something like that uh let's see i don't know 300 pound capacity good thing i'm not 300 pounds but anyways stretches pretty far oh nice thing about this look at that Let's see if i can find it osha approved it's upside down but that's interesting so um this warner ladder although it's an american company this is made in china um and this thing here Chinese company made in China. The only thing I like about this thing, I mean, I like this tubular design. These are actually pretty easy to you know, unlock and slide up and down. But the only thing I like is the color, right? Um, to extend it out, you have to take this piece off and that connects to, I can't, oh, right up here. It connects to right here. Uh, so, not a, not a big deal. This is a locking mechanism. But this thing, man, I'm telling you what. I had all kinds of issues with this thing. I just do not. I started going up this thing. I don't feel safe on this. I mean, I don't know. It's just you start climbing it and the thing just feels like it's shaking and there's not a whole lot of stability. And as you get closer to the top, the thing kind of slides. And I know they have those accessory items where you can set them right here and here to keep it sturdy but you shouldn't have to right um now granted you get what you pay for right i was kind of curious to see it's not a big deal i'm just going to return it um i think this was about 100 something just over 100 bucks but a couple things i don't like about this thing the manual sucks on this all right of course most manuals are not the best but not only does the manual suck but this stabilizer bar, this you had to take these two these two bolts and locking nuts on there. Take a rubber mallet and hammer this thing in. There's little slots here, grooves where you hammer this thing up. Um, but you have to take these rubber ends off. And all the videos show that this thing just slides right off. Well, not the case. I had to take a rubber mallet and hammer it off. It's really hard to get that off. So I would be able to get these pieces on. Now there are like locking wheels on this or you know, rolling wheels, I should say, that just kind of stay here. So if you want a wheel, you can. But look at it doesn't say anything about these orange stabilizer pieces right here. It shows your parts list. I mean, the stabilizer bar is B. But do you see anything, any other parts that it shows? No. Anti-pressure bar, which is this. And two bolts, two lock nuts, the support bar. It doesn't show anything about putting these on or the wheels. So, I mean, of course that's garbage. But, I mean, what do you expect? I'm not expecting a whole lot. But another thing, here's poor quality right here. Look at this. This rivet just broke right off of here. I mean, this thing just came. I had just taken this off. Actually, is there two broken? No, just one. So, I mean, how, how comfortable and sturdy do you think this is really going to be? You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this thing. I mean, I'm barely even touching this. So, yeah, that's going back. Um, I think I want to just get a regular, maybe an eight-foot fiberglass ladder. Probably about 170 bucks, I think I saw some. But uh, there's that. And then this, like, this thing's just super sturdy. I mean, this thing barely moves at all. But it's got a lot of weight to it and a lot of stability. So I just thought it was kind of nice to kind of show the comparisons. As far as the size difference, I mean... They're pretty much 20, almost 28 inches across from here all the way. And then right here, from here all the way, about 28 inches. 
but I don't have to add any kind of devices to this. It just comes as is, super, super stable. Here you have to add that and I just, I don't know, I'm not really a fan. So you get what you pay for sometimes, right? So that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say about it. Um, this is a heavy duty ladder, great ladder, but it might be a little overkill for what I need it for. So uh, stay tuned for further videos and let me know what you guys have used and you know what you guys think for ladders. Thanks for watching.